Okay, so I've uh, managed to have a little bit more of a play with Adobe Edge. Um, it's looking, uh, for, from the first stage, at least preview one, to be quite robust. And I'm seeing it more for the potential that the other things are going to bring into it. So, for instance, interactivity, when that company is brought in, in I think it's preview three, they're planning to bring it in. Um, that's where Edge is really, really going to take off, uh, for me at least, because that's going to allow me to... Um, add events and uh, really make sort of huge chunks of um, website from within Edge itself. Um, but for now, uh, what some power I've found already with Edge is the ability to edit um, HTML uh, pages as they are, existing HTML pages. So what I've done, um, I've got my um, website um, for the uh, web design company that I, I run. Um, now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just drag index.html down to Adobe Edge, open that up. And then what it should do is bring up the HTML document as if it's, there we go, as if it's in the stage, as if it's in a browser with all the elements already on the uh, in, in the stage for you which is freaking awesome let me show you what the website looks like um, in a browser it's pretty much exactly the same as that so uh, let's just open that up in uh, Chrome and you can see the website is pretty much exactly the same in um, Edge as it is in browser so what I'm going to do, and I'll just close that. I'm going to add a little bit of animation. The really, the the I cannot get over how far this has come um, over, you know, Flash or whatever, um, because I'm I'm seeing the the website real time. There's a little bit of um, CSS animation, CSS3 animation I've done before with my website. So that's nothing to do with Edge, but. Uh, in fact, if anyone wants to know, they can PM me and I'll teach them how to do it. But um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little fade in with these divs just here. So I've got three cards which are on my website that I'm going to add some animation to. I'm going to have them fading in one after the other. So you can see elements. There is hundreds of elements down here that I'm not even going to bother trying to uh, look into because most of them don't have uh, a title or a name uh, tag. So they're not. you can't tell which ones they are in elements. But I, I can see this being useful in the future. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use this um, WYSIWYG interface, um, as you might call it, um, to try and add this animation. Oops, I just moved it. So command Z that. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've got auto animation on. So I'll, I've got this div selected, this uh, starter website uh, div. Um, I will keyframe, uh, snap a keyframe for opacity and take that right down to zero. I'll do the same with all the other ones. Opacity right down to zero. And then this one, opacity right down to zero. Um, then I'm going to move it along sort of um, about half a second. Because I want a bit of a break before, in fact I'll make it a whole second, a bit of a break before they all start fading in. So I'll select the first one. Um, again, we'll just put, snap a keyframe. Um, I don't think I went into this fully enough last tutorial. So the reason I put a keyframe in just here is if I went straight to sort of two seconds and set opacity to 100, you'd get a curve that sort of started from here and went all the way up to here. And it would be a constant um, uh, constant animation of opacity f that started here. Now I want my opacity to remain zero all the way along here and then start moving to 100%, okay? So what I'm going to what I did, I put a keyframe in to just snap it to 0%. So I'm snapping zero all the way across here. And now what I can do because I've br brought my keyframe to zero uh, to 2, I can now grab the div set opacity right the way up. So now it's started the animation there and finished the animation there. So let's play that, give that a play, hitting spacebar. Boom, excellent. And now halfway through that starts fading and I'm gonna have the other one fading, so as if, as if it's cascading. So I'll just do the same again, drag it to 1.5 seconds, snap a keyframe on, and then to 2.5, opacity to 100%. Same sort of deal here, so let's move that back to two seconds. Snap opacity to zero. 
move opacity to three. Uh, move the keyframe to three. Set opacity to one hundred percent. So let's give that a, a little uh, play through. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's good. That's good. Now, what if I wanted them all to happen at the same time? Now, again, recovering uh, ground I, I covered last time. But what you can do is grab this bar at the top, drag that to the start, and do the same with this one. And that takes all the animation properties for these. So I could have hundreds of different properties um, that are changing. So I could have it spinning. I could have it moving. I could have it changing opacity. I could have it... Uh, changing size and if I drag this top bar it drags the whole lot of the uh, animation so again if I drag the playhead to the start press play they all fade in at the same time I don't want that because I want them cascading in so again I'll do that and then that Let's see what that looks like boom excellent so I'm happy with that file save and now let's go and have a look at index.html. Let's drag this down to Google Chrome. So let's preview the website as it would be online. Awesome. Absolutely fantastic. How easy was that? Now, previously, if, before Edge, I would have had to code um, some pretty hefty JavaScript functions uh, with jQuery, uh, with my engine of choice, and it just so happens to be um, Adobe Edge's engine of choice. I'll go into that next tutorial. Um, I would have had to code a, uh, I would have had to select the div, I would have had to set um, a delay, so on window and then a delay, and then I would have had to put a fade in, um, uh, fade in animation through jQuery, and then would have had to set the delay for all of them, so I wouldn't be able to do one function for all of them, but um, that Adobe Edge just there took me, if I wasn't talking about it, it would take me 30 seconds which would have taken me a whole load of coding before. And the point is, this is really freaking easy. Well done, Adobe. I can't wait to see how much better it gets, especially with the inter interactivity. Anyway, that's all quite a short one, so uh, have fun till next time.